Flavor with a Beep is brought to you by Grace Canada Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. All right, well, welcome back this morning. For this segment, we have an exciting segment for you, Cooking with Grace. We have with us here Chef Beard and Tyler, a representative of Grace. And I understand that this morning we'll be cooking up some awesome beard shrimp. Buttered shrimp tacos. Beard buttered shrimp tacos. So make we get the stove on right away and uh, you just jump right yeah. into it and tell us what you're going to do. All right guys, so um, you know, my name is Chef Beard and today we're cooking with Grace and with Paul Tyler and we're gonna have some fun today. So this we're gonna do some beard buttered shrimp taco. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in a, in a, in the butter is the beer. It's the beer, well it's, it's the beer. beer and of butter. course we need real beer. Right. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So, make we start, make I get some. May we have in our fridge. Right. Okay, good. Check this out. This 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 now usual when don't want butter, but we want the butter to be very thin, mm -hmm. very light, and mm -hmm. very crispy. Tell me. The important thing about that, check it out, Tyler. We have to make sure everything cool. This is a flour, you know. It's yeah. a cool flour. Cool flour. When My first time me to hear about that. that. Cool flour. So, what I have here, um, that one cup and a half of flour. Yeah. And. What I'm going to add to this The more flour? Uh, no, this is not more flour okay. This is not actually corn flour Oh wow It's a corn flour So we have about about 25% corn flour Yeah So 75% normal flour And yeah. I will tell you why right now So I'm going to go ahead and add this So that's corn flour, you can buy this to any store and Okay Add that right in the sauce wow. So we have right here now that 2 cups of uh, flour Corn and right. regular flour Now the reason Paul, why we use regular flour and corn flour is because the regular flour have gluten in it and that will make the butter um mm -hmm. get more like 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 firm and more like like that fried dough right. now the corn flour now have no gluten Tell so me. that will make it very light very crispy and fry wow. really okay fast. so so we'll have right here is for flour next thing up next up grease baking powder wow this the leavening agent okay basically what that just means uh make carbon that said and things just start bubble up while how much are that like how much are that one, put in? one teaspoon all right they'll look for you know you know how like like measuring with your senses like you, you can do that I, you know I, I coming with you in the kitchen we don't always have uh measuring cups that's and true. things so that's we, true. That's how we just use the spirit the ancestral spirit that we went for stuff <laughs> that is very true. That yeah. is how I like to cook. But yeah. what happens is that people are sending up the message like, send the exact recipe. Right. So you're giving the exact so recipe we're this put, one. Uh, about a teaspoon. Right. Uh, leavening agent. This will just make everything. We don't want. We don't, not 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 to get them. Okay. okay. I already jumped the gun. Yeah. We don't want to get too hot. All right. So now we put a little bit of salt. You know this? Yeah. Not too much. I don't want it's a so salty, but. I need to bring up some of the flavors. Maybe black pepper. Okay. Mix all the dry ingredients first. That's very important to mix the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients. Of course, salt and oh. Oh, garlic. Oh, garlic. Garlic. Garlic in there. Well, we believe and love we garlic in and we seasoning. Alright, so we mix up all the dry ingredients. Next stop, the fun part. Yeah. You know what help you there? You don't need a uh, uh, what? <laughs> some <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got uh, the assistance. I don't know how you're poor, huh? So. Alright. So, one, two. What we have right here, so the real beer. I want to talk about the light beer, you know. We need the real thing. Yeah, real the beer. real thing so this right. thing could come out good and have the real thin. Crispness and eeriness about it. So it's like carib beer. Yeah. yeah, carib, of course. All right. And the reason why a beer butter will give you a much thinner, a much lighter butter is um 
for various reasons, right? right. Um, Bear having, um, having foaming agent, and, yeah. and because the alcohol vaporizes a lot faster than, mm -hmm. than water, right? So yeah. So, so Tyler, while while um, my boy had to pour the beer, tell us the the, well, the curry beer is this one of the uh, products that Grace is promoting at this time? Yes, that's one of our products. Since it's September, we're trying to use beer and we're having actually we're having seal on beers this okay. month for an entire month but mainly we have royal stout and Madison. we have special deals at our office you can only get it at the office or yeah. you can get a case of Madison for 62 dollars tax included and a case of royal for 50 dollars tax included oh wow but besides from that, we always want to encourage the consumers and our, our sales to drink beer and celebrate this month with us with carb beer and if you're a stout drinker, Royal Stout. Yeah. That's the two main focus we're trying to get this month on those two types of beer. All right, Chef Bear, I see that yeah. you're adding a second yeah, because curry because I want to was strong, you know. <laughs> no, no, we're not strong enough okay. for you. Forget it. So the consistency, the consistency where I want it. Um, this one leave it to clump, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is um, would it have been better to have like a whisk? Yeah, we we'll use the ring like that. Yeah, just make sure I get the beer in there. Yeah. Right, look who use this again. The whisk right there. So, so Tyler, you're saying that the your customers has have to go to the office yeah, where they can enjoy these deals yeah that's for the cases but if you just if you're a small drinker and you just want a six pack of beer yeah you can find a six pack of beer at all, all of the major stores countrywide all right. all right what what is it about these beers and this this stout that belizeans would love and enjoy during the september celebration well, the beers, uh, me, I'm a, I'm a beer drinker and I, yeah, I quite enjoy my carb and stuff. When I do want to drink stuff, I prefer the Royal Stout. Yeah. What I like is the Royal Stout is the alcohol content. It has a large alcohol content. Right. And it well, doesn't especially take... Especially for the ones that will yeah, love that large alcohol content. Yeah, it doesn't take you to drink a lot to get your, your right. buzz. Alright. Alright, so what we're doing now here, Chef Bear? Check it out, guys. So this, wow. this is the batter that we have. The That's batter, the consistency Yeah, this want. is the consistency. You want it a little um, thinner than the usual batter because okay. it's going to fry really quick. It's going to be really thin, really irritable. So maybe you can hot that up, Tyler. I see you have some shrimp here up on the side already. <laughs> no, yeah, well, these are just some. Um, that is shrimp with a peel, right? What yeah. we're going to do is just lightly season it with some salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and sal de ajo. So. Yeah, leave it salt, salt, salt in there. Salt the ajo or garlic, right? This yeah, garlic salt. Garlic, garlic salt. Garlic right. salt. Sorry. Right. So I will lightly season that and how that they look. Right. So I, um, Tyler, one of the things I see there is shandy. Tell me a little bit about the shandy, about the shandy drink. I'm For those who may not, not be, or it might be a I new concept to some. Okay, Shandy, we have Shandy, we have three different flavors for Shandy. We have ginger, lime, and sorrel. Yeah. The Shandy is mainly for consumers that don't really want a heavy alcohol content, but still would enjoy the taste okay. of a beer. Okay. So when you drink the Shandy, it's still, you still have that taste of a beer, but it's for mainly light drinkers. The people normally drink it as a, a slider. Oh, so it's a light, it's a yeah. light, light yeah, alcohol. It only has 1.2 alcohol per cent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. So that's, that's there for those who don't drink heavy, uh, but still want to be a part of the celebration. I still right. want to feel like they're not drinking. <laughs> yeah. <definitely>. Right? <laughs> so that's exactly what that's there for. All right. All right. Back to you, Chef Beard. All right. So Tell us what, what we're what doing. What we're doing just to wait for make this, um, this oil get hot and yeah. one easy way for it that us put on wooden spoon in there. Man, and, uh, look that at was, it. That was old time trick or I what? I don't know. Now, first time in <laughs> I think that my granny teach me. Your granny so, teach you once you set up that bubble like that, yeah. you know, that means wow. it's good to go. Okay, so, interesting. Um, so what we're going to do is pretty much just put this in the butter and right in the oil. And this cook really quickly. Okay. So. Wait, it's like cooking time in terms of cooking time. Ah, just a, just a couple minutes. Two? Just a couple yeah. minutes, yeah. So 
So get a, get a little close up after that there. Yeah. See when we could see how all the um leavening agents and all the how the beer just got the butter, they react. You know what? Overcrowd the pan because remember everything cool. Yeah. And the oil and get um it's gonna cool too much, and you wanna keep the oil hot. The so chef beard, obviously, the beard is a part of your trademark. <laughs> yes, it is. It, that and and the cup, you know, the kitchen that help you cook any better. It, what it, it does. If yeah, I if I don't have on my if I don't have on my cup, I can't cook good. You know the focus. No, I can't. <laughs> Come take a look All at right. this. Look how that butter have the shrimp there. I just spin up and leave it too much for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because the, um, this thing can't leave it. Yeah, yeah. all right. Wow. <laughs> you feel it? You feel it for the hair? They're like Belizean or something. That's a run. So this just take a, um, like I tell you now, a couple minutes. and This is looking cook. really good. Yeah, this is good. This is the smell through the uh, camera. Yeah, let's close up for this. Even make sure they want it. You would look at that. Look how that yeah. beer butter, Roughly. and of course you need real beer, real man beer like Carib right. to get this butter and this consistency. Very light, very airy. Man, I love this. Mm. I think everybody's supposed to um know to create a decent butter because this butter, with this butter you could you could fry fish, you could fry um chicken like. Chicken breastly, chicken nuggets, um, yeah. lobster, I mean lobster seasoning. You could dip anything in our, in our butter and good to go. And I, I mean, you could use as much beers as you want in your butter, correct? Or well, you, you, you depends put, on the consistency. To, to the consistency, for yeah. Right. I normally at home, I, just, I put a little bit of water in this one, yeah. but normally I would use just the beer. So, right. well, I'll give it a try. Let, let, let me, no. let me. Goody, 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 goody. Lord, Lord, oh, hold on, this is small. I don't too much. Lord, I'll leave it. You set me up for bottle right. up my no. one. That I'm going to show you. Set me up for. <laughs> no, no, no. Now I'm going to show you. See the work going on. So now right. you just take the shrimp, mm -hmm. dip it in at the butter, and drop it in there. All right, I need an alias name for my chef. Chef Paul, Chef P. Chef P. Chef P. Come on, Chef P. Let's uh, <laughs> drop this in here, right? Drop it yeah. in. Why? 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 <laughs> Things are happening at the kitchen. What is your All right. So while Chef P is doing a thing over there, we need to prepare our lead. salsa for the tacos, right? Yeah, you go right ahead. So you so. do your thing, Chef P. You know what? Put your workstation over there, Chef P. Malazin, move me on out. Right. Put your workstation so that I can create our lead. Yeah. Salsa. You go right ahead and take over the show, sir. All right. So, I pop my face on car. What a hot! I watch that cold beer and <laughs> so um you know this bowl is a it's a nice fresh pico de gallo salsa. Uh, I don't dice up some onions, some tomatoes, some cilantro, and what we're gonna use for the acidity. Normally you put lime in you know, this, but we use San Marcos jalapeno peppers. This one give a nice pop to this pico de gallo because they have the acid and they have the lee burnness that you know give me you need in a taco. Up, All right. Yeah, you just have to flip it. Yeah. And um, what way you do the the lee, the lee um, butter that burn from the other ones, you could just like take it out. Oh, no All right. So you're making the salsa over here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm using San Marcos jalapenos for okay. the little acidity that you use because normally you squeeze one lime in there, but sure. either way I need pepper in my tacos. So what better uh, go to a trusted man from that grace curry. Got that I know people quick. love jalapeno, especially yeah. in the tacos. Of course. I just put some big whole jalapeno right over my taco and walk that. <laughs> Chef P, you don't think? Well, I mean, right. I can come out better than yours, I can promise you that. So, 
I will make up for you. I my, think, my I think next time, time next time, get two stove and then we could we could settle yeah, this. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. They set me set up uh -huh. now. Put your shrimp. All right. So we got the jalapenos in there. We're just gonna give this a lee mix. So we're gonna put on the squeeze half a lime. Half a lee lime juice there. Leave it a salt. Not too much. Only pepper. Only black pepper. And we mix this up. Alright. So we got a salsa. Yeah, we got a okay, shrimp. You still you still go it? Go it. See the shrimp come man. Go it, go it. Go and I, I don't need it yet. I don't, I don't need, need it yet. yet. Not quite. Like a, All right, so we got some purple cabbage that are cut up. Make a dust dress the good stuff down from the side. <laughs> so we got a shrimp, we got some purple cabbage, got a little pico de gallo, and now, of course, you can't make a taco without tortilla, right? But before we do the tortilla, we need for the one sauce, and I got one, I got a bad sauce for you today, Tyler and Paul. Oh, we got yeah. bad sauce, this sauce, that one, that one yeah. nice sauce I make out of this grace hot pepper sauce. Now the Diablito sauce that go perfect on the taco. So right. you do your thing there. And I can show you how I make this stuff, this sauce. What I have in this bowl here, the one part mayonnaise. Right? And um and what I have in here, the one part sour cream. Okay. So if you use Half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream. I could get that in there. Mm. And this sauce go pan. Any, any taco. Right. Now, I want to put in the... Some lime, no? Some lime, yeah. Yeah. Once you work with mayo and you have sauce, you need lime for cut the... Okay. That nice, healthy squeeze of lime. Garlic. Garlic, guys. Yes, garlic. Garlic very important to you right now. Nicely amount of garlic. And this already have the salt in it. Now, what we use uh, this grease hot pepper sauce. When it's very hot. So it's hot, it's got pepper. nice flavor and it have a nice acidity to it yeah. as well. All right, and when it's mixed with the sour cream and the mayo. So this is up to you how much you want to put. I like it, Lee. I like it very bun, but... Whoa. Yeah. No man, that's not a spice. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so you right need to drink one beer, a couple of beer. You need it. You, you need, need it. Really spicy now. Right. Bring your back. Right. Bring your back. back. Recuperation. So mix this up for me, buddy. Sure, mix that up for me. Hope I get it. I forget ready for this. How you want it? Just mix it till it mix good. All so, right. when prepare some tortilla, all right? Go right ahead, sir. And we're ready. After we hot the tortilla, then we can start. Plate. So I'm gonna put this aside. That's the part we look forward yes. to the most right now. We'll that plate plate. So right now. Let we get to that. How much time we got? At least you have a little time man, have a little All time right. man. With a, a quick little run out of time, but <laughs> so I have a little flat panel that way. You could use your kamal at home, the same kamal that you use to make a you know, full of a tortilla. Yeah. Um sometimes when I lazy I just patch the tortilla right over the hot stove, yeah. over the fire. But today I show now. Want something I different. think they're yeah. definition. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. You can get this off of the soap. I need the same. Yeah, so take that completely off of the soap. Yeah. So and the fire on. I'll put the fire on pan low. All right. Check this out, pal. What I have here. You see this? The same shrimp. Yeah. Look me pan this, Steven. You see the same shrimp? The skin where I peel okay. from the shrimp? You're not, you're not putting anything to waste. Okay. This is a shrimp oil right here. Mm -hmm. And I want to just, just take a little taste of that. Just put your finger there. Oil. That, 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 that plain oil, that is plain oil, but a... So it turns shrimp oil. It's a pretty much just food. plain vegetable oil. You put it on low fire in our leaf pan. Mm -hmm. Low fire pan your stove and the same skin from the shrimp. Mm -hmm. You put it in and make it simmer down. Throw a little banana, throw a little garlic. And you have shrimp oh, oil. And this is what we use for hot. The tortilla, right? You don't need that, but you need to leave it a uh, leave it a uh, oil for. 
hot to start. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. So we got time. And we're we're we're, we're winding down here. All right. So we're just gonna hot the tortilla real quick, and then we're gonna build the taco. All right. Okay. So while he's building the taco, I would love, like to mention that along with there, we also have some some banded offers with our products. In, yeah. the country, in the stores countrywide. Mm -hmm. We have Grace Evaporating Milk. We have an offer that you buy two, you get two free. Mm -hmm. Grace Condensed Milk, you buy two, you get two free. Okay. We have Grace Coconut Milk Can. If you buy two, you get one free with it. You have also, we have Grace Salad Cream. You buy one, you get one free. And we also have Grace Vienna Sausage, you buy four and you get one free. And you can find these promotions countrywide also, along with the six pack. So I like to encourage the viewers to go and look for these promotions. They are very nice promotions with very affordable prices. How affordable are these beers when compared to as when stocking up to the other beers that we find on the market? Well, for the most part, due to our pricing, we're fairly good in the market. Yeah. We for at most stores you can find a six pack of carb for fifteen dollars right. average. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Okay. As it normally retails retails for like two. 250 or some mm. pro, some stores use the promotion we like to offer them that they can buy four for ten yeah okay all right all right, there you all, right. Go. all right so we're going to get to yeah the, the play thing. Thing. this is the final exactly. part exactly so oh, what we want to do is just put some of the sauce put, oh, the fire for me. we're going to put some of the sauce down pan the tortilla and this all one kind of be like a glue for make everything yeah. just stick okay. on top right after that, I'll put one. Well, shrimp. Two shrimp in wow. each one. Two shrimp in each one. Yeah. Man, I'm excited. And watch when the, watch when the small shrimp swell up because of the butter. Right? When I add the side. This, the way your service is. I don't know is, my one can put a small <laughs> Your service is going to leave it a cabbage. You want leave it a purple cabbage. want to leave fresh. Pico de gallo. And then when top it off, we can leave it more of the sauce. So just when drizzle some of the sauce on top of this. Alright. Alright, and Dr. Heat, right then, brother? All right, folks, so there you have it. Beer Buttered Shrimp Tacos by none other than Chef, chef Beard. Beard. All right, Chef. So the last thing as we head out uh, for this segment. Uh, we have to do the taste test. We have to do the taste test. Have to, you ready? Make with taste. Well, the way we go. I like, I like squeeze on the lime pepper mine. Right. I don't know how to like it. I don't like a yeah, lime. Yeah, maybe a lime. Put a little lime on it. One each. One each. Got it? No, no, you, no. You. I can't, I can't eat. Oh, you can't eat. Oh, you can't eat. Come on, chef. You know the thing chef. All right, right yeah. yeah. Chef. <laughs> I forget the man allergic, though. Right. Well, some, right. trust me, you're not going to waste. Somebody will eat it. Hold on, hold on. One second, one second. Yeah, we'll do the Cheers. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> Man, I, guess, I guess with their facial expression I believe it's good. We'll take a break and we will be right back. Shall not talk with food in your mouth. Guys, this was Chef Beard. Wait. Unicef, <laughs> this was Chef Beard and Tyler representing Grace. Grace, flavor with a beat. And thank you very much and like that. We'll be right back. was brought to you by Grace Candidate Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life.